right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. I've got a fun video to do for you today, and this is what I'm calling real Knives Fast rapid fire first impressions, and I've got eight knives here. Here's the thing, guys. Oh, by the way, say hello to Ren and Stimpy and Powder Toes, Manalog and TV. They're down there. Here's the thing. There's a lot of channels these days that do these rapid reviews or rapid uh, first impressions, and let's face it, guys, who's better to do that than Knives Fast, for Pete's sake? Uh, you know, you can't rapid fire better than the rapid fire. So here we go. I am the rapid fire. So we're going to do, I got eight knives down here. Reviews are coming soon, very, very soon. And let's roll through them. So number one is uh, the Vero Neuron. This is the double detent uh, flipper. If I can actually, there we go. Uh, so here's the thing, very small knife. Uh, three finger knife back here, four finger knife just up here on the uh, flat. Um, so not bad there. My issue is, again, it's easy to break that detent uh, because it's not even like a slip joint. It's just a very easy detent to break. Uh, so if you're doing anything other than just cutting open a letter or some really basic stuff, I'm not sure this is the knife for you. Um, really cool design, really beautiful design, great titanium, great chamfering, just a terrific knife, just um, I don't know, not the one for me. Uh, if this were a liner lock, this would be a great for, uh, or, or even a slip joint or even a lock back. This would be great for a fifth pocket knife for me. All right, number two um, is this month's Smoky Mountain Knife Works affiliation knife. This is the Buck Highline. The Highline is a cleaver design uh, made on an aluminum frame, four ounces, uh, big cleaver-like blade. Um, 37 38 dollars um so just really really nicely done for buck uh better than anything i've seen uh from buck in a long long time quick change there uh i was out in the sun and my phone was overheating so anyway the buck highline uh like i said budget knife really nice uh decent action uh really really interesting knife from buck all right so that's the first two. Uh, the next one is uh, one that I want to point out, and I'm going to go ahead and do my review on this soon. But this is uh, the Jack Wolf Knives uh, Little Bro Jack. Now, uh, if you guys have paid attention today, Ben Belkin has been out there uh, saying he's going to hold up the production on these a little bit. Uh, and the reason is there's been some blade wrap. And uh, you, I haven't really talked about it, but I had it basically... Blade wrap is where, uh, you know, the blade hits uh, the pin in the back of the spring. Um, and again, even if you, you know, just let the spring do the work, which is how I close the slip joint, sometimes it can, it can end up with a nick. Well, mine had a nick in it at Blade Show. I got it sharpened out uh, by Wicked Edge, and it's not a problem. Uh, ben has discovered that um, the manufacturer didn't completely go by the drawing in some of the knives. Uh, they're inconsistent. So uh, he's recalling them from dealers, sending them back uh, to the manufacturer to be all uh, sharpened down to that correct uh, tolerance. Um, I will tell you, though, now that mine's been sharpened, I've been using it a lot. No more nick, no more issue. Great little boy's knife. Uh, good in the hand. This is great for a fifth pocket dropper or just a third knife that you like to have. Uh, to, to show people or whatever. It's got this dark matter, copper carbon fiber. Ben will announce soon uh, when these will drop, but um, I love this thing. I absolutely love it. It might be my favorite of the three so far. All right. Next is a knife from Jeremy Freak Show EDC. This is the Protect Magic Whiskers. As a matter of fact, by the way, guys, somebody knife center maybe dropped some of these yesterday. Um, uh, be on the lookout for them. Now, this is a very cool knife. Uh, it is an automatic, uh, and the way you actuate it is with the bolster. So you actually slide this up. Uh, so I'm taking my thumb and sliding it up, and then I actuate that again to bring the knife in and lock it. Actually, yeah, that's how you unlock it and then bring it down. Um, really cool action. Beautiful, beautiful knife. I, what I love about Jeremy giving me knives... Uh, to look at is that they've been used. Uh, Jeremy has sharpened this and put his edge on it, as you can see. Bomb diggity mirrored edge. 
uh, you know, Jeremy, thank you so much for letting me check this out. Uh, and guys, good four finger knife. Feels wonderful in the hand. It's a good size. Um, I don't mind it. It's a little smaller than I usually like, but I like it. Uh, and it's 154 uh, on the steel. Uh, the Asher Douglas. Uh, this is a super awesome knife. Now, my understanding from Justin is going to be just under 100 bucks. Um, I think, oh shoot, I should have in front of me. Uh, yeah, S35VN and uh, Micarta and a nicer, bigger size knife for him. Uh, no, no finger choil, but that's fine. You got plenty of room here for finger knife. Good long blade. You got the fuller uh, to middle finger flick it. Whoops. <laughs> what am I doing? To middle finger flick it. Uh, I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm awkward. Uh, but there you go. Uh, just dig this knife. And I think these are going to be at the end of this month, at the end of June. So be looking. Justin will come out with some information on when he's dropping them. But it sounds like he's putting them together and it'll be the end of this month. This is a good knife. This is a very excellent knife. Uh, good lockup. No lock rock. Well, yeah, maybe there's just very slight rock there. Uh, not much, though. I mean, very, very slight. Uh, but it's still a great knife. And then my three uh, three of my blade show pickups. I didn't bring the um, the EMP and EDC Slenderman up here because I just haven't spent that much time with it yet. Um, but this is uh, the Arian uh, frame lock, titanium frame lock with the blue fat carbon. Um, you guys know, I absolutely love this knife. By the way, I put some slick em all on it and look at that. Um, not that the action was bad to begin with, but man, it is crazy now. Uh, beautiful knife locked up solid, gorgeous, great feel in the hand, four finger knife, thin, very thin blade stock and slicey, incredibly sharp. Uh, I love the Arian, the Arian, and I'm glad I picked one up. Um, S35 is the steel on this one. And again, that beautiful blue fat carbon. How can you not love this knife? Um, yeah, don't, don't even think about it. Then uh, there is the Nimble X. Uh, I know some of you are getting ready to get yours. You've ordered these, so... I uh, wanted to include this one, by the way. I put some slick -em all in it, too. Again, the action was already good. Now it's like money. Um, and so I just wanted to try it on some stuff. So this one's M390 and uh, plain, well, polished, but plain uh, titanium with this frag finish. Feels wonderful in the hand. And you guys know the reason I love it so much is I've got a forward finger twirl. I've already got a ton of four-finger room back here, and I have a longer blade. I have the fuller for opening. I have the open, the hole for opening. You can open this thing any way you want. You can flip it. You can even, oh, come on, KC, really? Front flip it. I'm just not good at it, guys, I've told you. Have we had a hummingbird yet? I keep waiting to see. I'm, I'm probably making too much noise for them to come, but um, there you go. Just absolutely love this knife. Eventually, I want a blue, um, a blue clip, a blue backspacer, and uh, blue on the pivot. I think that'll be bomb. Uh, then we've got the Hogue Ballista. Uh, guys, I'm loving this knife. And this will be my initial um, auto carry on July 1st and beyond. Um, the size is good. You, I've got a full four finger grip back here or a choke up position. Plenty of jimping, no problem there. And um, great long blade. My one complaint is this sharpening choil. I just don't get it. I would have uh, just ended the blade right there at the finger choil and been done with it. Uh, I don't get it. I'd like to know why, but the action is incredible. I mean, the spring is perfection. Uh, I just absolutely love the feel of this aluminum and the texturing here, the way it feels in my hand. And guys, these are selling right now all over the place for like 130. I paid more than that at Blade Show, uh, but they're selling these for like 130. And this, I, I, I'm just gonna say it. There's some other companies out there that aren't gonna like this because uh, this this may be better than some of the other autos from other companies that I've seen. Um, I love this clip as well. You guys know that uh, from my K320. So 
that's it. Um, we didn't get a hummingbird. I was hoping we'd get one. They've been coming in and out all day. Uh, it's hot out here, so I got to get back in the house. Uh, but I wanted to do it with the birds whistling and singing and everything else. So there is your rapid eight rapid first impressions, and we're at eight minutes. Uh, we're well because I did the first piece, so we're at like ten minutes. Um, by the time I'm done and shut up, it'll be eleven minutes. And and you know eight knives in that fast, nobody else is going to top that. Sorry, it's just the way it is. So this is the Knives Fast channel, uh, guys. Please subscribe if you're not. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, comment down below and let me know what you think of these. Which one of these are you most excited uh, to see in review? And uh, let me know. And very excited to bring them to you. Uh, lots and lots to come. Let's get this channel rolling. Uh, I'm sure trying. And I know you guys are helping. And thank you so much for your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.